Hey guys, Mike here from Bainey Outdoors. This one's gonna be a little bit different. I'm actually at the boat ramp right now, just about to launch the kayak. This right here is a tournament, but it is a slot series tournament. What that means is every fish between 12 and 17 inches counts. Anything over or under does not. And the total inches at the end of an eight hour window is what wins the tournament. So we're gonna go hit the water right now and see if we can take home that win. might be that extra half inch I need this time. So the reason I'm fishing here guys is it's actually funny. During the you know, main part of the year when I'm fun fishing, this is uh, an area that I catch a lot of fish that I usually bypass because I have no desire to uh, fish it because it usually has a lot of 12 inch bass. Well today, because we're not head hunting, and we're trying to get ourselves as many fish on the board as we can, the 12 inchers are the ones that I actually really want. That right there, guys, first fish on the board, 12 and a half inches. All right, guys, 12 inches that puts me at 25 and a, or 24 and a half. Now, trick is not losing the fish. Why well, you measure the fish, huh? Oh, yeah, that's a little bit better fish. That's a 14 and three quarter. That's getting back in. An 18 and three quarter, four pound largemouth. All right guys, so that one right there does not count for this tournament, but I happen to be in a month long that he does count in. So it's okay, but it's just never been, you know, these slot tournaments can be stressful because you catch the wrong fish. And it's, it's not like, oh, I need to get a big one to upsize. I need to get a bunch of little ones and literally the little ones don't want to play today. So that right there was a fun fish catch though. I seriously thought I was hung in the grass and in reality, it was a freaking monster bass hanging out in there. This area right here is pretty much my predominant area that I plan on getting a lot of the fish from. It is a weed bed, lily pads, shallow water, it's everything in the textbook of where you should go find fish, especially in bad weather. So I'm hoping that being anchored down, hanging out in here, I'm gonna be able to locate a bunch of fish, maybe put some on the board. Unfortunately, I'm having issues with service, probably due to the storm that's, that's blowing in, which means I'm not gonna be able to probably fish the entire duration of the tournament because I'm gonna have to leave to go find service to submit fish. I was able to submit one fish 
out by the island, so I'm hoping that maybe if I go back out there, I might be able to find service again. But unfortunately, I think I might have to actually bail out of here at 3 o'clock so that I can go find cell phone service and get all my fish submitted to the tournament. That's one thing that does suck about the apps is that a lot of places in Vermont um, do not have cell phone service, like not even enough to submit a low res photo. So I really don't have much of a choice. So what I do is I mark the fish that I haven't submitted yet. I mark them by putting them into an album in my phone. And then that gives me the ability to then go in once I get anywhere with service, as soon as I reach service, um, I can just start uploading. It does take time to upload those fish too. So unfortunately, like I said, it may be a situation where I end up having to leave here an hour early just to go home and get my fish submitted on the board. But that's okay, because if I have that many fish that I feel comfortable doing that, that I think I'm gonna win, then it's probably a pretty good day anyway. Oh, of course it's another monster. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Oh, are you kidding me? Dude. Oh god guys. Never in my life have I caught so many big fish on accident. This one has to be measured, dude. I might have to wait this one. This one's 19 and a half, guys. Oh god guys, look at this freaking fish. Look at that monster freaking bass. 19 and a half inches. And again, he does not count. All right guys, 14 inches. I'm gonna give you guys an update in just a minute once I get the uh, fish smooth. I think that's fish number five. Well, the wacky rig is really doing its work right now. That's like three, four fish in a row. And they've all been within the limit. Some of them way over the limit. But uh, yeah, goal here. Oh, there's another one. Is to just keep grinding through them like this. If they're gonna hang out in this area, I may be living over here for a little while. All right guys, 14 and a half. Another fish on the board. I'm not even sure, lost count. I think that's number six on the board. There he is, guys. Twelve inches, guys. I think that's like number seven, eight. I'm gonna have to start counting these things. guys so that right there was the first fish caught on a reaction style bait that was caught on black blue swim jig with my black and green trailer same setup I've been using all year I did change my reel out I'm using a loose carbon fire reel on my FX extreme angler medium heavy fast rod but I did lose one earlier on the chatterbait. I'm gonna show you guys that right here. I might be a pike. Oh, it's just another bass, it's good. No, shit. But ultimately, I think they might be coming into a moving bait bite. And if that's the case, that could get really good really fast for me. 
But even if that's not the case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back into the area where I was pulling out all those 12 inches. We're gonna dink and dunk that with a jig, Texas rig and wacky rig and see if I can just double up on all those fish. This particular body of water has a lot of resonant fish and the area that I was in catching all those fish earlier, what's really cool is, is it kind of refills. So it's an area where a lot of bait fish are and it's where a lot of the smaller bass hang out and live. So by leaving and letting things calm down after beating it up for a little bit, a lot of times I can go back through and catch more fish later on. So that's where we're heading right now. See if we can pull in a bunch more. Now right there is an example of the biggest fish that I'm allowed to catch. So we're gonna throw him back. Twelve and a quarter. Nope, sit down, sit down, sit down. I don't know if you can hear me over the wind, but 15 inches on the chatterbait. All right, guys. Well, the day kind of turned on me. As you can probably tell by the scene right here, it got real nasty. Wind started picking up, blowing about 25 miles an hour. The rain got even heavier than it had already been. I was soaked, I was cold, and I decided I'm gonna bail at about 2.45. I never bail on a tournament early, but I did need to get home to be able to submit those fish catches because like I said earlier, I had no service on the water whatsoever. So I'm gonna show you guys right here on the screen where I ended up, but overall, I ended up in third place which is in the money, which was awesome. So I do not know what the payout was. And honestly, that wasn't really as important as it was just getting into the money because the last time I fished one of these, I missed it by two inches. So I exceeded that, accomplished my goal, ultimately ended up placing in the money. Had a really, really fun day on the water. I actually had a lot more fish catches than you guys even see in this video because I caught a few pike. I got a bunch of fish that were under 12 inches, even a rock bass at one point. But yeah, it was a really, really good day. Um, I'm really happy that I placed in the money. I'm really just kind of getting into this tournament thing, really starting to finally place in the top three, which is always my goal. But for right now, I just want to thank you guys for coming along with me. I know this is a little bit longer video than I usually put out, and I really, really appreciate you guys hanging out with me, watching this video, just enjoying the tournament experience with me. Uh, if you guys haven't already, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and as always, let's get out there, catch more fish.